Well, today in technology, we're talking fintech. And we're trying to look at how traditional banks or traditional financial institutions are actually adopting and coming up with initiatives to make your transactions easy. The Absa mobile banking application has been enhanced so that uh, business customers can also access it. Uh, previously, it was just only accessible to individual customers. Um, however, with uh, what we have seen from the market, the needs of our customers, and also the situation we're in, the pandemic, uh, we thought of how can we provide our customers with a solution, a convenient way to, to do their business on the go. So we enhanced our mobile app to be accessible by business customers. So when you open the Absa mobile banking application, um, the user will have already been set up, so all they need to do is enter their username and password. And then when logging in, a customer will see the options to pay their bills, buy airtime, transfer between different accounts, transfer to another apps account if they hold another. Um, those are the options we see at the top. Um, then there is also Explorer. So ex the Explorer feature just tells the customers uh, of any new enhancements we have in the bank. They just scroll through, they'll see. We have also added our security tips, given that we take uh, security and safety as a priority. Um, then the next tab, as you can see, the different options. So we have the RTGS payments, international payments, electronic tran funds transfers, that is transferring to other local banks. Then ABSA to ABSA, it could be from uh, the customer's ABSA account to another ABSA account. Inter-account is between uh, accounts belonging to the same entity. Um, this other tab is, um, so the application has a functionality to add levels of authorization. So in case an entity has maybe three approvers, you can set that up in the system. So this is where it would come to for authorization. And more basically, we see all our other functionalities, whereby you can add beneficiaries, view transaction history, find a branch near you, get our contact numbers in case you're trying to reach someone at our contact center. Um, settings whereby you can enable fingerprint in case you don't want to be inputting your username and password and then logging out. Yeah, so basically that's our mobile banking application which has now also been enabled for both business and uh, personal customers.